I got a 2015 Toyota Avalon Hybrid. Uh, this is a little different than the uh, Camry Hybrid, so I'm gonna show you how to remove the hybrid battery. You're gonna have to remove this piece, um, this piece of the whole rear seat, and then all of the stuff back here. That stuff's really easy to get to. Um, it's just covers, so I'm not gonna show you how to do it. But once you get all these covers removed, and this is a wrecked vehicle, so I don't really care about any of the interior parts. But once you get all those covers removed, there's two 12 millimeter bolts, one right there and one right there. I'm gonna remove those and then come over here. And for these seats, you just push up and there's two spots, one right here, one right there, no screws or anything. So you just pop those off. I'm gonna set this over here. You're gonna need a 10 millimeter and a 12 millimeter to get everything else off. Um, right down there, there is a, let's see, it looks like that's a 10 millimeter. Let's check it out. It is a 12 millimeter. So there's a 12 millimeter right there. And then there should be one um, right there on the other side. And then one right there and one right there. So there are four total. Okay, from there, what you're gonna do, you're gonna stand right here and push this whole seat up. So you have to push it up. Also, you wanna move these seat belts out of the way so you can um, remove the seat without the seat belts attached. So you're gonna have to disconnect it from here. Push it over the side. I already pushed it up. And you're gonna be pushing these um, above the clips right here to get that removed. So we're just gonna set this seat to the side and pull this up. And now you can remove the hybrid battery from the back as well. Okay, so what I did, I put this up and then I just put something heavy on top so it'll stay up there. Not to worry about it falling off. Okay, we're gonna grab our 12 millimeter and we're gonna take off these two screws right here. And then these two screws over here. And remember, before you wanna to touch this battery at all, um, remove that 12 volt battery because uh, this can kill you. You want to remove this plate right here. This enables you to shut the battery off. Pull it out like that. And now the battery is not live. Um, you're able to remove the like the cables and stuff without getting electrocuted. So always do this before you remove any of the cables. Very important, number one thing you need to do. Okay, so we're gonna disconnect this right now. Right here. Okay, once you get that removed, get this one as well right here. Now we're gonna grab our 10 millimeter and remove the shield right here. So how to remove this piece. You're gonna come over here and remove these two pieces right here. And then this one right here. We're gonna disattach this. Uh, uh, disattach that one. And next there are three 10 millimeter, one there, one there, and one on the other side. You're gonna remove those so we can remove this fan assembly. Okay, from there, we're gonna disconnect this clip right here. This 
we're gonna have to remove that 10 millimeter as well. And there's one on the other side right here that we'll have to remove. And there. So the easiest way to get this off, you're gonna have to pull that piece out and this out, and then you can remove that. I'm just gonna put it over here for now. I remove this piece. And then there is a clip right there we need to remove. And now this piece will just come out and the hybrid battery should be ready to remove. So we're gonna just take another look at it. And we're just gonna have to remove this clip right here. So that's probably the easy way to remove it. And that's how you do it. Hopefully that helped and remember, when you first start, remove this battery and remove that uh, battery bypass switch before you do anything. Thanks for watching.